Lucy is a science friction action film, released in 2014. A woman gains psychokinetic abilities when a nootropic drug, which improves cognitive function, is absorbed into her bloodstream. This science fiction movie also shows what humans can do when they use the full potential of human brain. Movie begins with Lucy's boyfriend, who does illegal work, asking her to take a suitcase and go to the hotel in front, go to the reception, ask Mr. Jang to come down and give this suitcase to him. Lucy asking what's in the case. Richard saying, it's some paperwork. Lucy want to see it, but he says, it's locked, only Jang has the code. Lucy asks if he get paid to do this, he says yes, how much she asks, he says, $1,000. Lucy says $1,000 for delivering paperwork? She says she doesn't want to do it, and leaves, but her boyfriend slipped handcuffs on her wrists, the other end on the suitcase. Lucy gets angry, asking him to take this off her, he says her to go in, she had no choice, so she goes inside. She says, she wants to meet Jang, some men come, shoots Richard, and takes her with them. She is shivering, pleading to let her go, Jang, asks. What's in the case, she says, Richard gave me the case to give to you, that's all I know, he writes a code to open the case, and goes out, everyone guards themselves and asks her to open it, seeing this she asks, what's inside, they say, nothing dangerous, we don't trust Richard, she says she doesn't trust Richard either, she dated him for a week, she is forced to open it, she enters the code, and opens the box, they ask her to describe the contents of the case, she says, it's four plastic pouches filled with a blue powder, they come in, take a bit of it and give to someone, he takes it, takes very long breath, in a weird way, then starts loudly laughing continuously, seeing this everyone smile, and John shoots him, he offers her a job, she refuses, so a guy hits her face, she gets unconscious, when she wakes up, she finds that they have done some operation on her stomach, they come in, give her some cloths to wear, then take her back to Jang, she asks what they did to her stomach, someone says, nothing, just a horizontal slit, you will be fine within a month, the scar is practically invisible. Thinking they might have taken out any organs, she says that she doesn't care about the scar, he says, rest assured, we didn't harvest your organs or anything, we merely slipped a little package into your lower tummy, it's a drug that kids are going to love, she asks what it is, he says the scientific name is CPH4, which is not very cool from a sales point of view. Three other guys are bought in, who also have the same drug package in their stomach, they give them passport, and ticket, informing them they will be sent to a location, where you will be taken in hand by our people, they will remove the packages, and you are free to go, he reminds them that if they try to warn, or turn themselves to the authorities, we have the names and addresses of the families of every one of you, their face is covered and moved to different locations, on the other hand, Professor Samuel Norman, who has done research on evolution and human brain, gives lecture on it, he says humans have changed this world, by using only 10% of our cerebral capacity, he says that the only other species that uses brain better than us is dolphins, they are very intelligent, and uses 20% of its cerebral capacity, which allows it, to have an echolocation system, that is more efficient than any sonar invented by mankind, they did not invent sonar, they developed it naturally, he says the aim of cells, is to have time, by being immortal or reproduction, if the habitat is not sufficiently favorable or nurturing, the cell will choose immortality. On the other hand, if the habitat is favorable, they will choose to reproduce. So when they die, they hand down essential information, and knowledge to the next cell and so on. Thus knowledge and learning are handed down through time. Lucy's face cover is removed, she finds herself in a room, in front of two guys, who chains her to a wall. One guy harasses her, she says she is not in the mood, he gets angry, and beats her, then kicks several times to her stomach, then other guy takes him outside, and locks the door. Her stomach pains a lot, along with the drugs being leaked because of the kicks on her stomach. On the other hand Professor Samuel says, if we could access 20% of our brain's capacity, it would give us access to, and control of our own body. A student asks what would be the next stage, he says it would be control of other people, for that we need control over 40% of our brain's capacity, beyond that, we would have control over matter. Another student asks, what if we use 100%, he says he have no idea. Since large quantity of this drug, being released into her body, her brain is super active, she is able to use 20% of her brain's capacity, she picks the chair, and sits calmly, showing no emotions, the guy comes back again, wanting to have sex, Lucy now knowing how to handle the situation, spreads her legs, indicating that she is ready, as he comes close enough, she beats him up, uses his belt to pull the table, 
where he just kept the gun and keys, shoots him, and gets out, shoots everyone in that place, has the food left in the table, removes the bullet that she got hit by in the process, takes the weapons that she would need, and goes to a hospital, since she has complete control of her body, she knows that there is a lot of drug, left in the packet, not yet released in the body, wanting to remove it, gets inside a room, where some doctors, are operating on a patient, they ask her to get out, she sees the patient's condition, shoots the patient, telling them, tumor had already invaded the cortex, meaning, the patient couldn't survive anyway, she points gun to the doctors, she says that somebody put a bag of drugs in me, I need you to remove it, it's leaking, they do as she said, she takes his phone, calls her mom, while they are removing the package at the same time, she says to her mom, she feels everything, what do you mean her mom asks, she says, space, air, vibrations, the people, the rotation of the earth, the gravity, the heat leaving her body, the blood in her veins, her brain, the deepest parts of her memory, the taste of her mom's milk, she also shares things happened when she was less than a year old, her mom confused, she thanks her mom and dad for their love, says I love you and cuts the call, they remove the package, all this while she is awake, she asks how much is left, he says 500 grams, and how long will it take for my body to eliminate the rest of it, to answer that, he asks what it is, she says CPH4, he looks at her, she asks to tell her about it, he explains, pregnant women manufacture CPH4 in the sixth week of pregnancy, in tiny quantities, for a baby, it packs the power of an atomic bomb, it's what gives the fetus the necessary energy to form all the bones in its body, I'd heard they tried to make a synthetic version of it, I didn't realize that they'd succeeded. If it really is CPH4, in this quantity, I'm amazed you're still alive. Not for long she says. She gets out, now using more than 20% of brain's capacity, she is able to see the inside of everything, goes to the hotel where Jang is, shoots the guards before even opening the doors, Jang's relaxing, she stabs in his hands, he is in both anger and pain, she asks where are the others, who are carrying the drug, I need the rest of it for medicinal purposes, getting no response, she holds his head to read it, and figures out where others are sent, saying the locations, Berlin, Paris, and Rome, then leaves, he gets very angry, then she goes to her house, she lives with her friend, she asks her friend to let use her laptop, she searches for someone who had done research on brain, finds Professor Samuel Norman, she calls him, and says, Professor I just read all your research on the human brain, we need to meet, he laughs and asks, all of my research? I find that hard to believe, he is about to say how many pages he has written, she says 6734 pages, I can recite them to you if you wish, she appears in his TV, he is shocked, she says that she absorbed a large quantity of synthetic CPH4, that will allow her to use 100% of her cerebral capacity, right now, she is at 28%, and your theory on brain's capacity is true, and her cells are reproducing at a phenomenal speed, she will die soon, and will not live more than 24 hours. He asks can you control your metabolism, she says yes, she says she can also start to control other people's bodies, she can also control magnetic and electric waves, just the basic ones, like television, cell phone, radio, she don't feel pain, fear, desire, it's like all things that make us human, are fading away, she asks what to do with all this knowledge about quantum physics, applied mathematics, that she is accumulating, professor says to pass it on, because that is the purpose of any cell, to pass on what it has learned, she says she will reach his house in 12 hours, the news spreads that a woman, has shot a patient in hospital, and police are hunting for her, she changed her looks in matter of a second, she contacts a local police captain, Pierre Del Rio, saying she have important information about a group of drug traffickers, and needs to speak with someone with position of authority, he says, you're lucky, there's no one with more authority in this office than me, but let's start at the beginning, what is your name, she says, listen up Pierre Del Rio, get off your desk, sit in your chair, pick up the red pen to the left of you, and take down everything I say, seeing that she knows everything, he looks for camera, she says there are no cameras, hurry up, I've no time to waste, he does as she said, she says she's going to be sending you the details of three people about to arrive in Europe, each one is carrying a kilo of drugs, I need you to arrest them, and collect the substance, I'll need it for later, they are in form of powder, hidden in plastic pouches inside their intestines, a police dog starts to bark at her, she makes an eye contact, and it gets quiet, showing us more of her abilities, the call ends, she flies to Paris, different police team goes to each location, find and catch all three of them, and secure the drug package, Jang's men see all this but unable to do anything, they leave.
While going to Paris she consumes a sip of champagne, and starts to disintegrate as her cells destabilize. She runs to the restroom, to stop disintegrating she consumes more of the drug, she recovers, then start to just explode. She wakes up and finds herself to be in a hospital, a nurse notices that she woke up, rushes and informs to the police and the doctor who treated her. They go to see her, she gets out, they ask her to not move, she wants to talk to him alone, so she makes everyone unconscious. Then all the bullets from his gun drops off automatically, she asks about the package, and where they are, he says they are safe here in Paris, they will be safer in my hands she says. The three men are taken to a hospital to remove the drugs, Jang's men find the location, meanwhile, he says what she did back there, freaked him out. Do I need to be worried, she says no. Then she listens to what Jang's up to, that is to collect the drugs, while she is driving to reach the hospital, we see some cool scenes. As the police in charge, go out of the room. Jang's men get in, shoot other policemen, they extract drug from two of them, and that policeman who went out comes in, he gets shot. The third guy runs but they shoot him too, Lucy reaches the hospital, he tells his men to kill her, and leaves but is unable to go out, there is an invisible wall in front of him, all their weapons sticking to the wall, then they too are unable to move, as Lucy walks and takes the case, collects the third package, seeing all this, Del Rio says I am not sure I could be of any help to you, she says yes you are, for what? She says a reminder. They head to meet Professor Norman, Jang sees them leaving, and follows them, Lucy calls Professor saying she is in Paris, he says he is in university, and informed about her, to few of his colleagues to discuss her case, they are top minds in their fields, and very trustworthy, she says, I trust you, he asks can you meet us at the university but she have already reached, and enters the room, he starts to introduce his colleagues to her, she says she knows everyone, Jang's men arrive to the university, he says to Jang that five men are down at hospital, and there are 25 men left with him, saying she's a witch, Jang says he know that, and wants to kill her himself, she knows that they are coming here so she says Del that some men are coming, can you secure the room, I need to stay focused, sure he says, handing off the suitcase and leaves the room, there are police coming to that spot, along with Jang's men preparing to attack, Lucy shares the knowledge that she has gathered, saying that humans consider themselves unique, so they've rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure, but it's not, all social systems we've put into place are a mere sketch. One plus one equals two, that's all we've learned. But one plus one, has never equaled two. There are in fact, no numbers and no letters. We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size, to make it comprehensible, we've created a scale so that we can forget its unfathomable scale. Professor Norman asks, if humans are not the unit of measure and the world isn't governed by mathematical laws, what governs all that? She explains with an example of car speeding down the road. If we speed up the image infinitely, and the car disappears, asking what proof do we have of its existence, saying that time gives legitimacy of its existence, time is the only true unit of measure, it gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. Jang and his men enters to find her, Del Rio says he can't hold them for long, she says time to go then, she tells them to put all the remaining drugs into her body, professor asks her if she is sure she needs such huge doses, afraid that, she won't survive, she says she needs it, so she could use 100% of her brain capacity, professor says, I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for all this knowledge, we are so driven by power, and profit, given man's nature, it might bring us only instability, and chaos, she says ignorance brings chaos, not knowledge. I'll build a computer and download all my knowledge in it. I'll find a way for you to have access to it. Professor says, I just hope we will be worthy of your sacrifice. Meanwhile, there is firing between the Jang's men and the police. The drugs are injected in her body, she gains more power, and a black matter which extends her body, starts to consume all electric devices in the room, then everything. She makes a supercomputer, she time travels, visits different places, and time, also meets the first human ancestor, who is also named Lucy, she touches fingertips with her, then goes all the way to the beginning of time and witnesses the Big Bang. Meanwhile, Jang enters the lab and points a gun at Lucy's head. He shoots, but by then, Lucy has reached 100% of her brain capacity and disappears, moving into the space-time continuum. Only her clothes and the black supercomputer are left behind. Del Rio enters and fatally shoots Jang. Norman takes a black flash drive offered by the supercomputer, after which it disintegrates. Del Rio asks Norman, where she is, immediately after which Del Rio's cell phone sounds and he sees a text message, I am everywhere. 
Lucy's voice is then heard stating, life was given to us a billion years ago. Now you know what to do with it. The story ends. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all liked this movie, and tell me any movie, that you want me to explain.